Welcome back to another segment of Nourish to Flourish with Megan the Trainer, registered dietitian. And I'm going to pick up a little bit in the series of last time I talked about some frequently asked questions that I get. And so I'm going to kind of pick up where that left off and do another frequently asked question that I get from either nutrition clients or training clients or just anybody realistically whenever people know that I'm a registered dietitian. And so that other question that I get often is, Megan, what's the best diet? What's the best diet for weight loss? What's the best diet for athletic training? What's the best diet for diabetes? Blah, blah, blah. You fill in the blank. What's the best diet for whatever? All right, and so I get a lot of questions about that um, as well because, again, people are looking for that structure. And so my answer to that, as many of my clients know, if you've had um, discussions with me, if you've asked me kind of an open-ended question, my answer is almost always, it depends. All right, and so now is that a fun answer? No, it's not flashy, it's not sexy, it's not glamorous, but it's the truth, though. I'm going to give you the truth. It depends because, honestly, the best diet for you is whatever you're going to consistently stick with. That's what's going to give you the best outcome, something that you can continue for the long haul. Ideally, whatever you do, we want you to do it for forever because it doesn't matter if you do it for a couple of months and then you're like, okay, this isn't fun anymore, this is too restrictive, and then you stop because now you're going to stop reaping all those benefits that you were working on. So again, whatever diet you are going to follow, it just has to fit your lifestyle, has to fit your food preferences, has to fit your goals, and we can cross off all of those boxes. And so what might work for me might not work for you. And what might work for the Instagram influencer might not work for you also. And that's okay. Because sometimes, again, diet culture tells us that, oh, well, you know, if I lost weight following this diet, then, you know, everybody else should be able to lose weight following this diet too. But that's not the truth. Okay? That is not the truth. Everything is going to be a little bit more individualized. The kind of sub question that I get usually, and what's the best diet for XYZ thing? Again, to my answer is it depends, it's whatever you're gonna do consistently. It's what's your opinion on XYZ diet? You know, if you're a dietitian, you're probably anti diets, you know, what have you. And now I'm anti diets from a diet culture perspective. Again, if we actually look at what the word diet means, it's just a way of eating. So technically speaking, we're all on a diet. You know, I've waited years to hear somebody say that. <laughs> We all eat in our own way. I'm on the Megan diet, okay? So that's kind of where I see that perspective coming into play. But here's the thing. Does that mean that if you're on keto, that's awful, that I want you to get off of it? Does that mean if you're following a Mediterranean diet, that I want you to stop it? Or if you're not following a Mediterranean diet, that I want you to get on it? No. Again, it all depends. Can we make these things fit your preferences, fit your goals, fit your whatever, fit you? Absolutely. But again, we need to go about it in a smart way. And we can't just kind of put the blinders on either and just be like, oh, I'm going to do, mm, what's a good example? I'm going to follow keto. And so I'm just going to go eat McDonald's all day and just take off the bun. No, no, no. That's not really what that's all about. I will be here to educate you on what the truth is, again, of all of these different diets and then what that would mean for you. So again, some people talk about intermittent fasting as well for a whole different side of benefits. But if you have a really crazy day and you're hungry all the time, that might not be a good start for you. Or if you've had issues in the past with maybe some disordered eating, and this might be a little, a little too touchy um, to kind of go, to, go down that route. So again, all of this is gonna come to say again, what's the best diet for you for weight loss, for whatever? Whatever one you're gonna stick with, whatever one actually is realistic for you to implement, and whatever one we can cross off all of those boxes of working towards your goals on. There's more than one way to go about this. So again, if you ever hear somebody say that this is the one way to do it, this is my way or the highway kind of thing, I would cause you just to, to have a little bit of caution, to be a little open-minded skeptic on that, open-minded to hear them out, but skeptical enough not to accept that it's true. Because again, there's going to be a lot of variables that come into play, especially when it comes to different types of diets or ways of eating. So now that you know better, let's go ahead and do better so we can all be better.